Trick question. Uh, pop quiz, do you feel? What's the last thing I said? No, that's what you said. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> no, they, you just happen to be there. You're not invited to Cinco de Mayo. I'm not there. Who went to a Cinco de Mayo celebration? It's June, so I forgot. May 5th. 5th of May. 5th of May. What happened in the 5th of May? All the Spanish people celebrate together. No, that's actually business. Man, some people just got offended, bro. Some people on YouTube are offended right now. Yeah, I look at it. I'm sorry. Mexicans. <laughs> what is single to mind? It's a Mexican celebration. I think it's an independence. They are not celebrating the independence with you because y'all not still independent yet. Why would they celebrate independence with a bunch of slaves, man? They over here Cinco de Mayo, like, hey, y'all made a boom, boom, boom. Do you see them with pinatas in the 5th of May? No. So, pinata is a tradition, but we see that their customs culture is kept to themselves, for the most part. They don't usually go outside of their nationality. When they, they you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't even, I mean, unless they're trying to, they don't really talk to all women, actual fact. Unless they oh, have a family, or oh, they're going to find some, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, what is that? That looks like something that came from the Goosebumps episode. And that's what they married. And that's what they had children with. Along with a big old, you know what I'm saying? And mira, no coge esto de ofensivamente, ofensiva porque eso es la verdad. Y si no te gusta, tú sabes no yo estoy de verdad. And so, if you go and go there and put your Catholic, whatever, big murals and all that, and all this other stuff, right? That, that's all, that's not part of Mexican religion. That's Mexican tradition. The Mexicans don't have a religion. All nations have a religion. I guess Mexico isn't really a nation by legal definition of the word. And yet, they still have a body politic that they assign a nationality to and keep their customs and culture among themselves. Who knows the importance of culture? Culture is the preservation of the aspects of a people. Culture is the preservation of the aspects of a people. And a tradition merely has parts of the culture. And it's passed down. So something of Moorish culture would be a mosque. That's Moorish. That's not a Muslim thing. We've been building mosques way before Muhammad. Since the Hanif. Since the Jinn. Since Jesus. We've been building mosques. In fact, when Jesus was disputing in Herod's temple, and you get a nice picture, it's a mosque. So don't be excused for prayer and religious service, worship, adoration, thanksgiving, praise. But when we think mosque, we think Muslim. When we think mosque, we think Arab. No, this is merely a portion of the culture that is now a tradition. So Arabs traditionally build mosques. They think that they're building it in the name of some spook mystery god Allah, but in fact, they're building it in the name of you guys. Not guys, pardon me, you ladies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. ladies. Because the mosque or the dome represents the, which represents the universe, which represents your womb, which represents all life, which represents completion, which represents 360 degrees, which represents a circle, which is why there's four squares when I read in Islam. Chill. And that'll keep you on your divine will. Because you need to honor your forefathers and four mothers. So when I'm wearing my fez, I'm honoring my foremother. Because ain't this where I came from? I popped right out, right? Make sense? Everybody all right? Everybody okay? What's the importance of a tradition? You remember who you are.
case you ever forget, you know how oral tradition is taught to us in third grade, fourth grade. The Native Americans, you know, they didn't even have writing yet, so they used to do oral tradition. Oh. Oh. You know, I'm in class like, oh. I was reading this book at home and it was like pyramids and they had writing over there. And so like, why we wasn't writing here? I don't know. See, growing up in the Bronx, teachers keep it 100 with you. They just say, I don't know. I have a better time asking the teachers in the Bronx who's their nationality. They'll just keep it 100. But you ask somebody in the street, everybody automatically becomes a scholar. The ego is a powerful thing. But a Muslim tradition is to stay home. Muslim tradition is if you're going to argue, to argue in the best of manners, in the best of manners. But if you dispute in the best of manners, that's the Muslim tradition. You know what I'm saying? Because the Moors, you know, when that was about that time, you know I don't even know what you, I forgot what, I, I forgot what I'm angry about, but it's already out, so you might, because we were some, you know what I'm saying, some type of people, man. You some real piece of, a piece of work, yeah, you me? So, you know what I'm saying? We had to get that work. And we got that work from ourselves. Because we kept, you know what I'm saying, not living according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Because we was hating, lying, warring, enslaving, being unjust to ourselves and one another. And the lack of remembrance of our customs, that are surrounded in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Our cultures, that's one of our love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Our traditions, we, we, we fought. But it wasn't just the customs, cultures, and traditions. Sister Danielle, what did, sister, uh, what did we lose, sister? What did we lose besides custom, culture, and tradition? Well, what is your religion? Islam. Is that the new or is that the old time religion? It's the old time religion. <laughs> <laughs> what is your religion? Ooh. You look like I asked you your nationality. See <laughs> <laughs> it. You want some water? Nah. It's all right, sister. It's all right, sister. It happened to me too. You need to remember my name. You don't know my name. I swear. Sister, may I please have your name? P. King Hill. Sister P. King Hill? Sister P. King Hill. I don't want to say the King Hill. You want to say Sister King Hill? Oh, well, mother of civilization, since I have that, uh, you know, permission and uh, leeway, I would like to ask you. What is the method in which our religion was removed from us? Okay. Okay. See, I like asking you questions. Why? Why would we fall into enslavement? Ooh, come on, the prophet told you. You already know. Because to be honest, not the principles of our foremothers and forefathers. Four mothers and forefathers, and we straight after the gods of Europe, of whom we knew nothing of. So we didn't lose our religion due to enslavement. We lost our religion because we was like, oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm mad. I think that's a cute devil. And I know y'all over there rolling on this. Now, on the real though, that's really what happened. Because you can follow the desires of your lower self. You see, Islam, not what is taught in the Quran, but the purest form of Islam, which can't be written in letters. It's words are composed of letters. And Islam is mathematics. So the purest form of Islam, which is mathematics, would dictate that we as a people, following the religion of mathematics, would always be in the bounds of giving out what we wanted to receive. So we will always receive love as long as we was given it. It was customary to live according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. It was ingrained in our culture. 
That was a portion of our tradition in our religion. Our let me get the definition for religion, please, brothers. It's right there. Um, the perspective of the universe and how we see our Creator. Me personally, I see you know, I see my Creator through some glasses. I don't got I have to take full vision on a physical sense. But in a soul plane and then spiritual, and when I say spirit, I'm talking about vital force or the ruah, which is breath. Religion, belief in reverence for a supernatural power. Belief or reverence in a supernatural power or powers. Regarded as creator and governor of the universe. A system grounded in such belief and worship. The life or condition of a person in a religious order. Uh -huh. A set of belief, values, and practices based on the teachings of a spiritual leader. Which definition is that one? The third definition. You remember me the first definition of because usually when we're using words, we want we're talking we're using the first definition because most people don't read past the first sentence, right? Belief. So when we say, "What is your religion?" I'm asking you, "What is your belief in reverence for a supernatural power?" Well, I was taught in Islamism that Allah was the author, the creator, the governor of the world, Almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible. And I was also taught that man is a thought of Allah and man is a part of Allah. And that man is spirit man. That man is not the body nor the soul, but he is a spirit. So my being a spirit, my being a part of Allah, everything is peace. So we would say that my belief in and reverence for supernatural power or power is regarded as creator and governor of the universe is that it's peace because peace is the governor of my universe. What's yours? What is your governor of your universe? What is your governor of the universe? What is your governor of the universe? What is you? Because my governor is mathematics and the practice of mathematics. And ism is an English suffix, which, which, which denotes practice of. So I'm constantly practicing mathematics. So I'm constantly practicing peace. So when things don't add up, that's not Islam. Why would you do that? If you ever had to ask, if somebody ever had to ask, why would you do that? That wasn't Islam. Because it don't add up. It doesn't make sense. It's not, it's not, it's not computing. It's illogical. It's unreasonable. Islam is the opposite of all that. I don't need to read 144 surahs to know that I shouldn't harm my brother and sister and thought a word of deed. That, that, that should be something that is automatic in us. But because we lost our custom, our culture, our tradition, and our religion, we totally forgot. And even if we did somehow, one of us, born in the state of North Carolina in 1886, and founded the institution in 1813, and did go out there and start teaching people that they were Negroes, Blacks, and Colors by reestablishing their customs, culture, tradition, and their religion in a body politic for the preservation and the political representation of, people will still be like, but what's wrong with black? So it's not really that we can't, it's that we don't want to. Because we don't speak our own language. So when I'm telling you what's your nationality, I'm telling you. What this guy said, Australia. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, brother, well, what's the primary language of Australia? English. So you know English, right? All right, was Australia a continent or a country? Well, it's both. Okay, I didn't hear you say nation anywhere in here. What's going on? He was stuck. There was nothing more to say. Because the original people in the continent of Australia, what they call Aborigines, are Moors, Asiatics. Because we ran the world in the seven seas for, I don't think I could tell I started going into some other lessons, but look, the point is, we were everywhere, and we are not these new countries that they were placed upon us. But because these countries and these designation of labels are being placed upon us in various languages, 
We need to understand the languages that we're employing in order for effective communication. Is everybody all right? Nobody has no questions? Because outside in the street, I get questions in depth. I'm making, I'm making sense right now. Yes. Well, they don't teach you about no guy anyway. They teach you about a lot of people that are making our class, man. Indians and white people. They need one of us in our class. Or I ain't seen Indian in my class or white person in my class. That's Yo, that was crazy. That's what we learned about Yo, that was crazy, G. You know there were so many Indians in your class and you ain't even know it? <laughs> They was talking about you, but they made it seem as if they weren't. So you felt ostracized and then no longer felt like you had to be interested. Y'all didn't even talk about me. Yet they're talking all about you and they're feeding you misinformation about yourself. So if you do buy it, you're misinformed. And if you don't buy it, then you are apathetic to the cause. European psychology is very, very efficient for children. But once you're grown and you're able to see it, you're like, oh, nah, nah, you're not going to catch my children something like that. Is that you know what I'm saying? But they catch us when we're young, guy. They catch us because we were made blind, deaf, and dumb when we were babies. You know what I'm saying? We love the devil because the devil gives us nothing. You know what I'm saying? We fit the devil now that we big men because he taught us how to eat the wrong foods and make us other than our own selves, which are racist and Muslims. Or those in complete peace with themselves and surroundings. But we eating the wrong foods. Eating meat is not part of our custom, culture, or tradition. Oh, but our religion now allows us to. Come on, get out of here, G. Come on, go ahead with that. Allow shrimp, go ahead. Not hearing me right now, I don't got time. We know what time it is, because if you go back 3,000 years, we really was hungry, we had to kill animals. What did the planet look like 500 years ago? Nobody, does anybody know what fruits was looking like 500 years ago? Anybody know what a potato looked like 300 years ago? Does anybody know what a potato looked like before Thomas Burbank in 1950s? So, how we talking about our custom and culture and we're not eating the right foods? We could be at the mosque all day eating gummy bears looking stupid because it's composed of swine. You be at the temple chewing gum not knowing that it's made of pork, stupid. You all in the church talk about I follow Deuteronomy and Leviticus, but then you over here eating all type of ridiculousness. Oh, I'm about to get you know, yo, Yo, I let me get a 10 piece shrimp with the uh, tartar sauce on the side and the, Yo, you got crab legs? Yo, get out of here. It's not part of your custom, your culture, or your tradition. But if you don't know that, then you're going to be falling outside of the bounds, acting other than your own self, which is other than your nationality, and then be treated as such. This is the only time I get treated, and I like it more, is when my actions start displaying other than more. I got a quick temper. My anger is like, yeah, I can't wait, Scrap. Oh my God, please. You gotta curb that. That's not an actions of a monster. So everybody in here got something that they gotta work on. I'm just open about monsters because I don't care. Is that of a monster? Yeah. yeah. I don't care that you know because I want you to know who I am because I don't want to hide behind a tinsel coat. How y'all thinking? Oh, I'm looking in the St. Lord right there. No. You might want to take a trip to St. Thomas or St. Barnabas, but I ain't not insane. Because those people were saints for killing Moors. And I'm not trying to kill myself. I'm trying to bring myself back to life. And the way I bring myself back to life is by living the life that my forefathers did because the life that I had been previously living was that of the dead people, i.e. black, i.e. one without a custom, culture, tradition, or religion to look back to because I didn't speak my own language, which is mathematics, which is why nothing adds up when I'm doing it. Don't worry, they will have a black face at the end of the day. Well, you get the face going on the day. They're definitely going to be that color black man. You know what I'm saying? But of course, we know white means purity, and purity means God. And God means ruler of the land. So they're trying to get us to go to hell. By the, hello. They're trying to get us to go to hell. Which is a state of mind. Indirectly. Which is a state of mind. Right? And so if you're a black state of mind and you're confused, and hell is a state of confusion, then you're in hell. Already. Already. <laughs> but Allah did not make a heaven and hell. We're creators and we make our own. How do we make our own? First, you gotta know how to count. Hi, everybody good on language? You understand? Because I don't really have to, everybody should already understand language. I brought a dictionary. You should already understand why language is important. Because if I ask you a question and you don't know the words that you're using, I'm grilled. Like straight adobo, word is born. Everybody good? What is historic continuity? It's a skin. Oh no, 
Um, so don't tell me, um, Sister Ivy. What's the uh, what's the uh, 